to anyone that identifies as a healer, a light worker, an empath, if your intention is to be a do-gooder in this world and to bring about this new earth, but you're receiving a lot of resistance in your life, probably more than ever before. And I want you to know that this is a definite sign to keep going. You're seeing this at the right time because now you've probably actually awakened to your true mission on this earth. And now that you're aware, congratulations, you finally awaken to the mission in your life. You know exactly what you need to do to be a great ally to the divine and all that you should be doing to bring about this new earth, this change in frequency. Welcome. But maybe you're reaching a point where the things that used to become easy or things that you would assume would push you forward in this mission that you are now a part of or that you're now awakened to it's now getting a little bit harder maybe harder than ever before maybe the foundations that you've probably spent your entire life building with relationships or a career or anything along those lines are starting to dismantle beneath your feet and you feel a little shaken up and you start to think to yourself like wow i thought that if i chose to do good, if I heed the call, if I become an asset to the divine, I would be protected, I would be supported, I would have my needs met. And that's a question that I ask myself a lot. Sometimes when things happen in our life, it could be a sign to sit still, but we have to make sure that we are keeping our eyes open, trusting our discernment to know when is the time to sit still, when is the time to move. In this video, I will be sharing my story, and maybe after having this conversation with me, you will be able to hear and define when it is the time to push forward and when it's the time to rest, so you can do what you need to to fulfill your purpose on this earth. I question myself about this so many times. I have whispers of prayers of like, should this, is this the right thing for me to do? Because there are moments where we are supposed to recharge and recover and regroup for whatever is ahead. Sometimes we have to be pulled back a few steps to catapult us into the next stage of our lives. And up until this point, I wasn't really sure. But a couple of days ago, I finally received this message, this aha moment. I think it was my higher source bringing me back to my center. And I want to share that with you. So my divine source and the thing that I call to when I need a recharge, the thing that listens to me when I feel like no one does, we have communicated and had a relationship through journaling. I assume that's how I channel, but I can't really define it as that because I don't have any outside source identifying what I do as channeling or not. But I believed I was employed by the divine to give and communicate wisdom by the experiences that I was given in this life, by the communication lessons that I was put through for many, many years. It took me so long to develop the confidence and the clarity and the articulation to be a good ally or be a good vessel for the divine. And it, I, I've, I've messed up many a times, but this is just where I'm at right now. I'm still learning, but when I started to finally put myself on social media and sharing my heart was when I experienced my hardships the most, and I was confused. The ego in me expressed, like, God, I thought if I heed the call, I would be protected and supported. God, I thought that if I became obedient to you, you would provide for me. I didn't have the relationship with my father, so I was relying on this source, this greater than life power to swoop in. And when I didn't have it in the way that I wanted, I completely abandoned my mission out of fear. And that's not something that I want you guys to do. So if I can save you the time, and if I can catch you before you feel like jumping off the deep end and completely abandoning your mission because you don't feel like you're being supported, that's why I'm here. So the message finally hit me. I kept having these whispers of prayers like, God, I, I, I thought that we were working together. Um, like, where are you? Because I felt this missing piece. I felt that I was abandoned again. And I know it, how much it feels like because 
I experienced it with my father and I, I, I would get so disappointed in myself because of it. Just imagine waking up every day, every day happy in your life but knowing that you may have done something to disappoint your father and the only person that knows about it is you and until you get this thing right or learn this lesson, you don't feel comfortable with moving forward. And that's where I was. And I was literally driving in my car, feeling this way. And I heard the voice say, you abandon yourself. Like, I didn't, I didn't leave you, you left me. I got you everything that you needed. And in that time, you forgot about me. You forgot about your mission. You were so dead set on your fear. You reeled yourself back into survival mode and you forgot that I had you the whole time and I was like whoa like I was completely like damn that's why you the big guy huh that's why you the boss and, and I, <laughs> I was like oh my god I completely didn't see it as that hear me out when we sign ourselves up to be at the front lines of this change and whatever is going on we can't expect it to be a walk in the park right there will be challenges the emotional trials and the experiences that we go to may be very very tr challenging and trying but we have to experience those things to reach a certain level of awareness and knowledge to get us to be a better asset for what we need to do for what else is to come and if we take everything that happens to us as things that are happening to us and not for us, we forget to learn our lessons. We pull ourselves back into this victim mindset and we forget our purpose in these moments where we should be taking into account everything that we could potentially learn in these moments that are hard, in these moments even where when our heart is broken. Sometimes our heart breaks to break open so we can see things in such a clear way. And because we're human and we forget that we are spiritual and magical and divine beings, we're attaching ourselves to the pain outside of what that pain is supposed to teach us to move forward, right? So when the thing happens, when our foundation breaks apart, when we lose the things that we thought were so sacred, so important, I want you to understand and know that everything in this physical life Although it's special, it is temporary. And that doesn't take away from the fact that it is special, but maybe it puts us in the mindset of appreciating things a lot more and better when we have them because we know that things are off to change and it prepares us for the transition in our lives when we have things and when we don't. Everything that fell apart in my life and the things that are falling apart in my life right now before I came to this realization, literally a couple of days ago, I used to think like, God, you know, pointing the finger, literally, if you were really, you know, here, why are you allowing these things to happen? And he's like, these things have to happen for what you need to do. And if you can't even see me, then what are you here for? And I'm like, oh shit, like, wow. And like, I feel like my, maybe it's the higher version of me. I have to, it has to come out that way because that's the only thing that gets me to see myself clearly. My higher self jacks me up, pulls me at the root and twists me around because that's the only way I get it. I, I'm a very like direct person. And so I receive that tenfold. So when the things were falling apart, I, wasn't living in my apartment anymore. I lost so many things. I lost my car, got a new one, took took some time. I, I was so trying to just hold on to whatever I had left. It took me outside of my mission because I felt that I needed to just stick to what I needed to. The fear of life happening to me caused me to turn inward and not in a way that I was sharing myself, but in a way that I felt like I'm not fit to present myself if things aren't 100%. And speaking from a different version of me, a, a better version of me, I wish I would have told myself, so what? All of those physical things that disappeared, all of the things that you felt like that fell apart, it doesn't change your mission and what you need to do, right? So instead of dwelling in it and thinking about it every time you need to do something, 
do it anyway because you're going to look back at yourself three, two months after the fact and realize, wow, I didn't necessarily have to stop and pause my mission because of how those things affected me. If anything, that made me a, a better asset, a, a better person of service, a better a better uh, tool to be used because I was really deep in the, the depths. So if you are someone that is going through something, whatever that is, I can't clock that, nor can I tell you how you should be expressing yourself. But if you can alchemize everything that you're feeling, everything that's happening to you, turn it into something that you can be of service and share with others, it's going to take you so far. It's going to take you so far. I'm, and I'm only talking to you this way because I wish someone spoke to me that way. And because I finally got it, I want to give it to you so you keep going. Okay? We're trying to be accountable this year. This is the last year that we're having the same conversations about the things that we don't have, the things that we can never achieve, and why it's so easy for us to give up. I know. I know. Give me. Because in reality, if you heed the call and you decide to drop the line, the good, the mission, it's not going to stop with you. There's still going to be people out there that are going to try to pick up and, 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 and be a part of the change, right? So nothing happens if you decide to stop. But wouldn't it be better and feel better if you were actually a part of the change, like you said that you wanted to be? I think this is the time where we start to have the hard conversations with ourselves as to why we want to be in this conscious community. Why is it that we want to share ourselves? Is it so the people outside can see us as this specific thing or is it to really help people? The deeper that I get with you guys, the deeper that I get with this channel, there's so much that I'm going to reveal about me and it's not always going to be good, but hopefully if I'm building a community that is kindred, you're going to be able to tell me about myself, right? And we're going to have just this cycle of love and communication and I see love as someone telling me about myself, even the parts that are not pretty. And this is just a, a gift when someone is aware and they share that awareness with you and you become um, just this different person because of that and you start to change your mind because we have the ability to do that as humans in this life. It's just, it's world changing. And if you want to be a part of that, this is what it takes. And I think it's just so cool that now we are able to kind of like show ourselves so many times uh, people of light or people that consider themselves these like um, aliens, right? There was just so much fluff around what we felt like were important. But now that the world is changing and people can kind of feel and see the change and the shift too, it's such a beautiful time to be alive. And I want you to be a part of that by expressing yourself, by continuing on, by continuing your mission and trusting your gut about what you feel and being real and authentic and of service enough to share it no matter what. You can't share everything. There are definitely more parts of yourself that you need to keep sacred. I'm not saying don't do that, but there's a person that you want to be you see this higher level of yourself on the other side of something and it takes the moments when shit hits the fan for you to actually show up as that. But if you take it as something that you should run away from every time, you're missing the whole point. This is the, the, the most fulfilling thing I've done in a very long time and I can't imagine myself doing something outside of this. And if this were to ever go away, if uh, I, I was told one day that I wouldn't be able to do this, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be pretty upset. So, yeah, I hope this helped. Leave a comment below if there is something that 
scared you back into survival mode. And now that you're on the other side of it, you realize the error of your ways and be like, damn, you know what? I probably reacted a little bit too hastily. I kind of quit. I kind of gave up. I kind of lost myself back then, but this is the moment in my life where I'm going to turn another, turn a new leaf. This is the point in my life where I'm just going to keep going and say, get, because nothing happens if we give up. And we're trying to raise this level of awareness so that everyone can exist here, you know, literally everyone. And um, if you follow me and you subscribe and you like the stuff that I do, that's what the work is about. And I will do my best to always stay true to that and um that is all that I have I will see you guys in my next one bye